Hello everyone and welcome to all in this video lectures a series on 8051 microcontroller. We are discussing introduction to embedded C programming for 8051 microcontroller. From few previous sessions, we are discussing about the structure of embedded C programming, the various components like data type, the different variables which are used in embedded C programming and few of the examples we have seen already. In today's video session, we are going to talk about the rest of the program statements. So let's begin. So here is the first program statement. Write an 8051 microcontroller C program to get data from port P0, convert received data into decimal and send digits to port P1, P2 and P3. In such a way that P1 should hold LSP, P2 should hold middle bit and P3 should hold the MSP. Right. So here the things are simple and straightforward. So at basic level, right, we are utilizing all the port pin, the port P0, port P1, port P2 and port P3. In such a way that as discussed here to get data from P0. The port P0 is going to work as input, P1, P2 and P3 are going to work as a output, right. So here whatever data that we are going to receive from port P0, we are going to store that in one, one of the variable, say I am going to say the name of that variable is a x and as the 8 bit data we are going to receive here, simple, we are going to declare its data type as an unsigned character. Right. So how would be my logic to accept the number or the data from port P0 I am going to define one variable say that variable is my variable x to represent the LSB bit I am going to define the variable say that is my D0 to deal with the middle bit the variable D1 and to hold the MSB value I am going to declare the third variable that is what D2 and all should hold the 8 bit data and hence the data type for all these variables should be what unsigned character here has an unsigned character right so let's begin the discussion one thing right so we can assign directly the label for the proper understanding to this port fine so as discussed from port p0 i'm going to take a data right so for port P0, I am going to assign a label as a input. As the port P1 should hold the LSB value, I am going to assign a label as LB, that is LSB. For middle bit, I am going to define as what the or uh, to, okay fine, here as a MD, that is middle digit. And to hold the MSB value, I am going to define the port P3 with what the label as say MB, right. So LB lsb bit md middle digit and mb msb bit okay so here all this port should work as what input which one p3 p sorry output p1 p2 and p3 so simple we have to write here as a 0x00 whereas for port p0 we have to write here as a 0x f okay so let's begin the programming so i'm going to define here simple First, the header file so hash include regx 51.h okay then just define these ports there and we have seen in order to define the port pin we have to make use of define data type so define lb p1 means the port p1 is defined with a label as a lb then define middle digit that is md port p2 and hash define msp bit so mb as a p3 okay and to take data as a input simple hash define this is mb hash define input right so these are the four ports that we are going to use here and uh, now the variables right so simple unsigned 
character to hold the value input value x ms ls be d0 middle bit d1 and ms be d2 okay right so let's begin the programming now now the logic right so no doubt whatever number that i am going to take from port p0 i am going to store that into a variable x right consider that my first input is a fn and when i am going to convert that into decimal what will be my value it's a 255 so as per the requirement this lsb bit that is 05 is or this should be sent on port p1 middle bit 05 on port p2 and msb bit that is 02 on port it, right and in order to obtain this what we are going to do initially this ff i am going to perform the modulus division so i am going to get a remainder value so ff mod of 10 the ff is there into hex format and uh, 10 is there into decimal format no issue it will give us a correct result so ff mod of 10 so the obtained result is 0 5 right then to deal with means what out of these three i have extracted out the lsp now i am dealing with the next two so ff divided by 10 so the moment i do this it is a 19h right so the 19h is nothing but what decimal 25 and when i am going to take mod of this or when i am going to divide this 19h by mod 10 i am going to get a 0 5 right so in first simple ff mod 10 right so i am going to get here the value as a 0 5 then ff divided by 10 so i'm getting here as a 19 and now this 19 mod of 10 the output result is 0 5 and at last 19 divided by 10 i'm going to get the result as a 0 okay so let us check out this through programming so go with this simple bio main so the first step as we had already discussed what we have to do whenever we are dealing with port we have to set its direction so port p0 we have assigned the label as an input so the input the port p0 should be configured as input so it is 0 x f f okay then lsp that is what port p1 the port p1 should work as a output similarly port p2 this also should work as a output and the msb that is port p3 this also work as a output so what we did simple i have declared the port programming so whenever i am going to call here as an input what will happen the moment at which i am going to define this as an input the port p0 is get called for the label p0 this input and the port p0 is going to work as an input here for lb it is going to call port p1 for middle bit middle digit p2 and for msp p3 right so in this way the things are going to work here now let's begin the logic implementation right so as we have to do this repetitively i'm going to define while in bracket one right so first take the data as an input so x is equal to input so what will happen the moment at which i'm going to define here as an input the port p0 is recalled and the data present on port p0 is get assigned to this variable x okay now consider the ff this is my input number so now x is going to hold a value 0 x f f right okay now the next thing just extract out the lsb bit so d0 is equal to x mod of 10 so when i am going to divide this uh, with i am going to take the modulus division the obtained result is a 0 5 and now this 0 5 is get stored into variable d0 right now to obtain the next thing, what i am going to do x is equal to x divided by 10 so what will happen here now x is equal to ff divided by 10 so in decimal i'm going to get the value as a 19 which is nothing but what the 25 in decimal and this is now stored by the x right and to extract out the next digit that is a middle digit d1 is equal to x mod of 10 so what will happen now the d1 is equal to 0 5. and at last this d2 is equal to x divided by 10 so what will happen here this 19h divided by 10 i am going to get the result as a 0 right so in short the d0 is going to hold a value that is 0 5 d1 going to hold value 0 5 and d2 going to hold, hold a value as a 0 2 so in this way i am going to separate out all the digits now simple forward this on the specified port so the lsb bit so lsb bit 
D0 which is sent on LB. LB is nothing but what? As mentioned earlier, it is simple the port P1. Then the middle that is MD, D1 and MSB that is MB it is a D2. Right? And just complete this back. So in this way, we have implemented this code in which we are going to take the data as an input and the same we are going to send on the output. Okay. So let us cross check this with execution. Okay. So here is the code. Right. So the port P0 is defined with the label as an input, P1 defined with the LSP, P2 is defined with MB. Okay. So as per the requirement, we will do the changes. So here this is LB. Uh, as discussed in a program, you can assign any label. It should not be like that LB, MD or uh, MB. These labels only. Here LB, this is MD, now it is what the MB. So, let us consider this. Uh, P0 assign with the label input, sorry for the same, P0 assign with the input label, P1 LB, P2 MD and P3 MD, LSB bit, middle bit and uh, simple this uh, MSB bit, okay. So hand, to handle the data, the three uh, what we call the variables are there with me, X, D1, D2, D3, let me check which variables we have used here, mm, okay D0, D1 and D2, let us, let us update the same in the same direction. Uh, instead of using d1 d2 d3 i will write this as a d0 d1 and d2 okay and simple this d0 where it's a d1 and this is as what simple your d2 okay so here d0 d1 and d2 okay so in this way the things are going to work so let us cross check it uh, step by step execution okay yes sorry sorry for the same this is what MD bit is present. Okay. okay, so now go with the stepwise execution for this. So now the port P0 here through which we are going to take a data port P1 on which the MSP bit is sent and port P2 on which we are going to send the middle bit. Let me arrange it properly and the P3 which is going to deal with the MSP. Okay, so go with the stepwise execution. Here the P1 going to work as output, P2 going to work as output, and P3 also going to work as a output. Now while but here all the bits are high, right? All bits high means what? It's a FL. So first D0 mod 10. Okay? So here this B represents your D0 bit. So now the value is what 5. Okay, and now the division result is what 90. Okay, so just cross check here. The D0 bit, the D0 bit is forwarded on port P1. So the moment at which I'm going to forward it on port P1, the P1 is going to hold a value 05H here. Okay, so 05, so which is nothing but what the LSP. The next 05, the next 0. Right. So FF when I'm going to convert that into a decimal, I'm going to get a value as what 255. Say so 2. This middle bit is 5, and this is what again 5. So in this way, the things are going to work. This program is going to work. Okay. Uh, let us cross check some different value. Let me open the calculator to do some conversion here. So, suppose I am going to enter x value as say 58, okay. So when I am there with the 58, my decimal value should be what, 088. Let us cross check this, whether I am getting the same or no. I want what, 58. So 5, and now it is what, 8. And over here. 58. So what value I am getting? 088. In this way I have converted the hex number into decimal. Right. Let's check out here. 
58. This is a hex value. Its equivalent decimal value is 88. So 88 is represented in the three digit. MSB bit is 0, middle bit is 8, and the MSB bit, uh, LSB bit is a 8 also. Okay. Let us cross check this. Say 255. Sorry. It's 125. So output should be what? 293. Let us cross check this. 155. To 125 it's there with the 125 right so corresponding to 125 what will be the value uh, let's consider some okay, sorry 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 decimal i'm going to put here so 7d when i'm going to put the input as a 7d right output should be what Output should be what? 125. 125. So these are my digits. So in this way, we can simple convert any decimal, sorry, hex number into decimal. And when I want to convert that into ASCII, equivalent ASCII value, simple at 30 H in each of these digits. So directly I am going to get what the simple the ASCII value, which is then need to be forward to the LCD when we are going to discuss about the LCD. In coming video session, we are going to talk about the LCD interfacing with 8051 microcontroller. Then it is necessary to send the ASCII value of each of the digits. So what we are going to do? Simple. First, the hex number we are going to convert into decimal and in that decimal number, we are going to add the 30 H. So directly I am going to get what simple your ASCII value as a output. Okay.